Intro to Simple Circuits. The tools we'll be using are definitely wire strippers, maybe screwdrivers, and maybe scissors. The materials we'll be using to make our circuits include batteries, maybe a motor or a light bulb, whatever you want to run, wires and maybe alligator clips, switches to turn the circuits on and off, and electrical tape. Wire strippers are really, really useful. You can use them for cutting wire. You can also use them for removing the rubber or plastic coating on the outside of a wire. So you put the wire into the correct size groove, close it, and then pull, and the outer coating will be removed so that you can see the copper wire on the inside. Let's try it again. Put it into the correct size for the wire, close, pull, and the wire will be exposed. All right, we're ready to make our first simple circuit. I'm using a battery holder that has some wires already coming out of it, so that makes it easier. You can even disconnect these wires from the battery so that you can be safe when you're working. We're also going to need a bulb to show that our circuit is on. And the way we're going to connect these is in one big wire loop. So the current, which is the moving of the electricity through the wires, needs to go out of the batteries, through the bulb, and back into the batteries. So I'm wiring up the two wires to the different ends of the bulb holder. So I'm using a screwdriver because it has little screws to screw down the ends of the wire. And when I've finished tightening those wires down, I'm going to reconnect the wire connector to the battery pack. And we'll see that the bulb is now lit up. Let's try a little bit more complicated uh, example of a simple circuit. Let's have our simple circuit include the battery pack, the wires, the bulb, and a switch. So I'm going to undo my simple circuit and insert a switch. To do this, I'm going to twist the two ends of the wires together and then cover them up with tape so I don't get a short circuit later on. So the idea of this circuit is to have one big loop going from the batteries to the switch to the bulb and then back to the batteries. All right, so I'm going to cut some tape, wrap it around those wires so that the metal won't touch other metal and we'll get a short circuit. It also helps keep the wires together so they don't pull apart. So now I've started my loop. I've got the bulb going to the switch. And now I need to get it to go back to the bulb on the other side. Sometimes it helps to kind of hook the wire so that you can wrap it around the screw. That way then it won't slide off as much when you try to screw it in. All right, so now I can hook it up to the battery. You can see that the bulb didn't turn on. 
but when I press the switch, the bulb does come on. All right, one more example of a simple circuit. This time we're going to add in a motor. So the battery pack is going to go to the switch, and then the current will flow to the bulb, and then it'll flow to the motor, and then it'll flow back to the battery, completing the loop. So I need some more wires. I'm going to twist them together and then tape them so that they don't rub on other metal and have a short circuit. And on the other end of my wire, you can see that I have what looks like a little alligator head. Those are called alligator clips. Those are really nice for quickly connecting circuits together. The motor only has these little tabs, so I'm just going to take those alligator clips and connect them to the tabs. Now everything is connected in one big loop, but nothing's running yet because I have it connected to the switch, bulb, motor, and then back to the battery. It all flows in one big loop. And when I press that switch to turn it on, the bulb comes on and the motor turns. Simple circuits are actually pretty easy to put together, but they have one drawback. If there is a break in the circuit, in the loop, the current won't flow and nothing will work. So if I take out my bulb, you'll see that when I press the switch, the motor won't work as well. There's no way for the current to keep flowing with the bulb missing. So that is one drawback of a simple circuit.